Remember, inflation is absolutely lifestyle dependent. Do I have enough to retire? How high is the sky, right? We have to understand that our needs are unlimited, okay? But let me have a look. I'm 29 and I'm working in SG, Singapore. My financial situation is like this. I obtained a windfall in the form of inheritance. Congratulations. I inherited about 2 million. I put 500k into ASM, a uh, mutual fund. And uh, the rest I split 250k and put into FD into multiple banks. Smart move uh, because I guess you have read PIDM's insurance. I also inherited a paid off house in KL. My personal savings is about 130k SGD. Do I have enough to retire in Malaysia? I should clarify that I don't necessarily want to retire, but work is so toxic sometimes that it will give me immense peace of mind to know that I can quit the red race if I wanted to fire my boss. Well, uh, first of all, congratulations on that inheritance. I think for most Malaysians, that is a lot of money. I think now you are presented with a choice. And I think uh, your parents or your ancestors, whoever gave you the inheritance, probably wanted you to have choices now. Right. So now I think I know I understand that you don't want to retire. And I think that's great because, you know, we have to do something right. What I suggest is uh, you have actually enough capital to start a very long term portfolio. All right. You don't have to use the whole thing. Uh, but do you have enough money to retire? Very much depends on how well you can grow your money. Number one. And number two, when you plan to retire. And number three, what are your lifestyle choices? Now, I don't know, you're 29, I, you, you've not said that you are married, not married, you have kids, don't have kids, I don't know or how many kids you plan to have in future. Uh, but if you take the life expectancy of an average Malaysian at male, uh, 70, assuming you're male, I think for females it's 72 or 74, so they live slightly longer. So uh, at about 30 years of age, you have a good 40, 50 years of life expectancy. Lah. If you do a very simple maths and you divide at 2 million over, say, 20 years of retirement, say you stop having active income, two mil over 20 years, you're looking at uh, 100,000 ringgit a year, which works out to about 8,000 ringgit a month. Now, is that enough uh, 30 years from now? Again, depends on your lifestyle, right? But I think your greatest asset now is that not only do you have financial capital, you also have human capital. That means you can look very far, right? You're only 30, you're only 30 years old. So you've got at least 25 years of active income. That means you choose to work and you choose to do something meaningful that you enjoy. I think that's probably the most important thing that whoever passed you that money wanted you have to have that choice. Uh, so you have to decide is 8,000, 3 or maybe 10,000, 11,000 ringgit a month in the next, uh, when you hit retirement age 30 years from now. Is that going to be enough for you? Because it's very much lifestyle dependent. Remember, inflation is absolutely lifestyle dependent. Whether you go to Kopi Tiam and have your Kopi O, or you head to your Starbucks or fancy coffee house to have your $12, $15 coffee. So only you can decide on that. But I think your greatest asset right now is to learn how to invest and grow that money. Because you have 30 years, you can take a little bit more risk than, say, someone who's at 55, 65, or someone who's at 40 with a family to look after. Very, very different. So good luck.